oh boy, do I have a crazy one for you guys today. This one is absurd. It's about a mother, a daughter, and an ex-boyfriend, and I'll just read the title for you. Am I the a-hole for refusing to plan my mom's wedding? Well, seems pretty innocent, right? Guys, let's get into this wild roller coaster jam-packed with six updates. I'm not really sure where to start on this nightmare of a story. I'm 21 female, and I was dating my ex-boyfriend, let's just call him a loser, for five years from the age of 15 to 20. We met up in high school and dated until I left for college. I was at college a few hours from hometown, and well, loser did not go to college. He took a job at his dad's garage, as he always had an interest in cars, and all things mechanical. For the record, this is not why he's called a loser in the story, as I fully respect anyone who chooses to go to the non-college route. He's called a loser in the story because of what happened after we broke up, and because I can't stand him. So I wanted to give him a bad name in the story. Anyways, we barely saw each other once I left for college as I was busy getting into my life at college, working out where all my classes were and making new friends. My roommate Shelly became my best friend and she's a huge supporter of me. Around six weeks after I started at college, loser, texts me to break up with me. He wasn't even man enough to speak to me in person or on the phone. He hid behind a text message. He said he was breaking up with me as I was never around and he needs a relationship with someone who was physically there. Just talking on the phone did not work for him. I asked him if there was someone else and he denied that there was. He's lying, but we'll get to that. I was really upset as we've been together for such a long time and he was close to my family. My parents are divorced, but I still have a good relationship with my dad and his parents. I stay with my dad regularly and speak to him and my grandparents every week. I could probably say I get on better with dad than mom. Let's get this out the way. My mom's 45 years old, but she's never matured past her early 20s. She's obsessed with staying young, and I've literally heard her cry when she found a gray hair. She's not even old but she's convinced that once you get past 30, you're past your best. She goes to the beauty salon a few times a week for treatments, and I have no idea what her natural color is. It's been bleach blonde my whole life. Mine's light brown, so maybe like mine, I suppose. She's had so much cosmetic surgery, she no longer looks like she used to. Her motto is, Diet, fill it, flaunt it. She has lip fillers, cheek fillers, and has her breasts done years ago. She's like a Barbie doll. She's been telling me for years that I should have things done as I could have some help. I'm comfortable in my skin, but it does get to you at times what she says. Anyways, she divorced to my mom when they both got to 30. As you can guess it, she thought that he was just letting himself go. Because he refused to have cosmetic surgery and he didn't need it. My dad's a handsome man who looks good for his age. He married my stepmom a few years after the divorce and I have younger stepbrothers who I love. He thinks my mom's ridiculous, especially with her refusal to date anyone over the age of 35. So that's the background to my story. As I said, loser broke up with me by text message and I spent a week so feeling sorry and lousy for myself. But Shelly and my other college friends helped me get back on my feet. I was doing okay until I got a phone call from my dad. It started off like every conversation we've ever had. How was I coping with college? Did I have enough money? He went quiet for a while and I thought something was wrong with my grandparents or my brother. He finally told me that he's seen my mom and loser having lunch together in town. At first, he thought it was just odd, but maybe he wanted to talk about our breakup or something. However, he decided that was definitely not the case when mom kissed my ex-boyfriend in public in a place where I used to frequent with loser. So people know he's my ex. Now, I'm used to mom dating younger guys, but this is ridiculous. Apart from the 24-year age gap, He's the ex-boyfriend of her daughter. My dad apologized for having to tell me, but he thought it was better that I heard it from him than anyone else, especially mother. 
Well, I agreed with him and said it's fine. I was mostly in shock at that point, and it's not really sunk until I told Shelly later on. As you can imagine, my next visit home was awkward as hell. I refused to go home to my mom's house and stayed with my father. The last thing I wanted to see was Loser coming over to my mom's bedroom. Ew. My mom had never officially told me she was dating Loser, and Loser just looked smug whenever he saw me. I kept contact to a minimum, which was hard at first, as it was a Christmas break. Except from Christmas Day, I had little to no contact. Before I returned to college, my mom asked me to meet her for lunch, and I agreed, as long as Loser did not show up. Well, she wasn't happy about that, but she agreed. I said not to try to sneak him in, because if I saw any sign of him, I'm just gonna leave. Well, she did turn up on her own, but it did not make her a great meeting when she announced that on Christmas evening, she had proposed to Loser. And guess what? He said yes. So, my loser of an ex-boyfriend is set to be my stepdad. Oh. My. Gosh. Yay. Mom was bouncing like a little girl in happiness, and I sat with a sour look on my face, like I just ate a gobstopper. Trying to get my head wrapped around my own mother could do this dense act when it came to the feelings of her daughter. She finally noticed I was looking hurt, and she said, Could you at least try to be happy for me? I found the love of my life, you know it. Love of her life? They've been dating less than six months. She then asked me to help plan the wedding and be her maid of honor. <laughs> Guys, this was the final straw. I shouted at her that I hope she enjoyed my sloppy seconds. Literally, sloppy joes. And there was more chance of hell freezing over than me having anything to do with her stupid wedding. I went back to my dad's and ignored all her calls and text messages from mom and loser until I went back to college and as far away from them as I could. So, am I the a-hole for refusing to plan my mom's wedding with my ex-boyfriend? What's up, guys? Mr. Redito here. So, this is one of the most twisted stories I've ever read. It does not get anything but crazier. There's five updates I'm about to read to you guys. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Sit back with a nice cold beverage and your favorite snack. Here's update number one. This is a fairly short update because I just need to make plans based on my decision, and at the moment, they're not fully formed. I got back to college and life went back to normal-ish. I'd been texting Shelly and my friends the whole time I was at home, and they knew what's happened. At first, they had thought I was messing with them, and I wish I could say that I have been, but nope. It's really happening. I got a text from Loser when I got back to college asking me why I was being so bitter and could I not just be happy for them? I've been ignoring him, but this was just too much and frankly, I wanted some answers from that creep, Loser. I asked him whether he had broken up with me because he had been seeing my mom or, if not, how long after we broke up had it started? I told him to just tell me the truth as nothing could make the situation worse. He admitted he had started seeing my mom not long after I left for college, and it's the reason he's broken up with me. Nice! It all started because my mom was missing me. Yeah, I doubt that. And she invited Loser over for some dinner to talk about me. He'd started going round every night after work for food, and they say one thing led to another, and they hooked up one night. He said he felt bad about it, but he could not deny his feelings for my mother. He'd always thought she was attractive for her age. Yeah, buddy, it's the cosmetic surgery. I guess it was money well spent. My mom, my own loving mother, had told him maybe he needed a real woman rather than a girl and that she could show him things that I could never. I may have vomited in my mouth a little at that point. He said he hoped that I would forgive him and try to be happy for them. It would mean so much to them both if I planned the wedding, probably because they could not be bothered to do it. I was reading each message out to Shelly as they came in, and I noticed an idea forming behind her eyes. And, well, a smirk was growing on her face. She said, let's do it. 
let's arrange the heck out of their wedding and make sure it's one they'll never forget. Well, I did not understand what she was getting at to start with and said there's just no way I'm going to be a part of it. Shelly told me to think about it carefully. They were asking me to plan everything about their special day and be the maid of honor? This would be my ultimate canvas for revenge. I told her that I hope she never got mad at me because she was scared, but agreed that it might actually be fun. I replied to Loser, saying that although I would never forgive him, I still didn't want to lose my mom. If he agreed that he would not speak to me at any time or interfere between me and mother, I would agree to be part of the wedding. I did not want to sound too happy about it or trust me, he would have got suspicious. To be honest, I'm astounded it never crossed either of their minds how dangerous this could be. Thankfully, neither of them are very clever, clearly. Which is maybe why they get on so well. Loser must have talked to my mom as later that evening, I got a phone call from her where she gushed about how proud of me she was. She was being able to see how important her happiness was. She said I would find someone else one day and she did manage to get a little dig about my looks when she offered to send me details of her cosmetic surgeon. But I let it go as my time was coming and I asked her to send me any ideas she had for the wedding and her budget and I would start planning. She seemed so happy that I should have felt bad, but I did not and I still don't. So here we go. Let the games begin. What's up guys, Mr. Redito? Update 2 is coming at you right now. I just want to say I did not see that revenge plot coming. It's a great idea though. Alright, let's hop into update 2 like a kangaroo. I won't lie and say that in time since I agreed to do this that I've not had seven thoughts. In the back of my mind, I keep thinking that no matter what, she's still my mom. And I should not deliberately make her wedding a train wreck. But then I remember, she stole my boyfriend, and I get over my doubts. The wedding's taking place in eight months, at the end of the summer, so I have plenty of time to fit planning in around college work. Shelly's helping me, so I'm not doing this alone. My mom sent me her budget, and it was eye-watering. There's no way anyone's wedding should cost in the three figures. After a lot of thinking, I called my dad and asked him if he'd heard about the news of the wedding. He said he had, and he was mainly concerned about how was I. I told him, oh, I'm fine. I've decided to help with the planning. Guys, he went silent for a while before saying, Please tell me you're planning something spectacularly bad. And then he giggled. I asked him if he would ever think less of me if I said yes. He said no. He would think I was definitely his daughter and my mom deserved everything she got. He even offered to help, so this is turning out to be a team effort. The downside to this plan is that I've pretended that I'm no longer furious with my mom and loser, as I don't want them to get any idea what I'm planning up my sleeves. I've bought a load of wedding magazines, and I'm planning on going through them, putting notes on things that I would make a beautiful wedding. Shame, none of them will be making an appearance. I'm meeting mom tomorrow to show her some ideas. She's traveling here to spend the weekend with me so we can have some girl time and plan out her demise. If Loser tags along, well, it's not happening. But she's promised it's only going to be her. Well, I actually believe her as she would have to plan her own stupid wedding without me or pay for a wedding planner. She doesn't want to lose her free planning person. Well, I'll update you guys and let you know exactly how it goes. Update number three. I'm writing this after the weekend with my mom. I was going to the update as we went, but I didn't want her to notice anything. If it was not for the fact that I despise her for what she's done to me, it would have been a lovely weekend. She'd booked into a hotel as I live in a college accommodation and she can't stay with me. But as I said before, money doesn't seem to be an issue for her. She did well out of the divorce with my father and her family has some money. I think her parents pay her to stay away. I mean, why else would a 45-year-old woman still have a monthly payment from her parents? So, the first morning I joined her for breakfast at her hotel, I brought Shelly with me as I did not want to be alone with my mother at any point over the weekend if I could help it. 
in case she said something that made me lose my temper. I introduced Shelly to her and said that she had offered to help me with the planning so that I could make it the best wedding ever. My mom gushed over Shelly, telling her how pretty and wonderful she was. To be fair, she was right. Shelly is drop-dead gorgeous. Her hair's naturally blonde, but she could wear a potato sack and still look stunning. I'd warned Shelly that my mom was shallow and mostly plastic, but I don't think even Shelly was prepared for how shallow she actually was. Over breakfast, Mom spent a whole time talking about the plan she had for herself before the wedding. She told us where she was glad that we've taken on the boring planning so she could focus on making herself even more beautiful. I think she expected us to tell her she was beautiful constantly. But I have to draw a line at that. By the end of the breakfast, she asked Shelly to be the bridesmaid because Shelly would look stunning standing next to my mom at the wedding. I can only assume I would be expected to stand off to one side to prevent my plain features, spoiling the aesthetics of her photos. She did ask me if I would bleach my hair, but there's no way that's happening. So, I dumped the pile of wedding magazines on the table and told her we would need to really look through them this time so I could plan something that suited her taste. I don't think it'll surprise anyone that she was drawn to everything that was over the top, and in my opinion, trashy. I smiled sweetly and made notes that I had no intention of paying attention to, and all in all, it was not a bad morning. We decided to go and look at dresses to give me an idea of what she was thinking. As you can imagine, she was forcing herself into the tightest low-cut dresses she could find. I told her to pick a few and then I would surprise her with one of them. I convinced her that it would be fun to have a surprise about her dress. The lady at the shop took her measurements and mom seemed happy. She also picked neon pink for the bridesmaid dresses. I look like a lobster with a sunburn. Well, by the end of the weekend, we had a rough idea of everything that my dear mother would love at her wedding. The only sticking point was when she asked me about the suits for the grooms and groomsmen. I said I would not be sorting that part out. He was on his own. My mom sulked for a while, but Shelly took her to the side. And I'm not sure what she said, but my mom settled down. My mom's chosen the venue, and I'm happy to work with that. I needed somewhere to base the wedding, so it does not matter much where it's at. It's more important that the rest of the wedding is the worst thing ever. Mom went home at the end of the weekend looking so happy that I was quote over my little silly crush on her fiancé and transferred a considerable amount of money to me to pay for everything. I smiled and I waved her off at the airport and returned to my dorm to begin planning the wedding from hell. Update number four. I do not want to update much in between the weekend with my mom and the actual wedding, just in case any of the details get out. I've spent the last six months planning and finalizing details. I'm pretty sure that the vendors think I've lost my mind with some of the orders I've placed. I've spent months telling them that all contact must be with me, as mom's been strict about it being a surprise. Some of them were wary, so I asked mom to write a letter to them telling them that we've discussed everything and she'd requested that I have completed control of everything. That seemed to settle them down a bit. Today, I'm chilling at my dad's house with Shelly and we're updating him on the plans for tomorrow. I've not seen him laugh this hard in so long. In the morning, I have to meet the vendors at the wedding venue to finalize the details and make sure that everything's set up swell. I was worried Mom might catch me before the ceremony, but she'll be too busy having beauty treatments to bother about the small details, such as what the decor looks like. Or the cakes, or who's taking the wedding. I'd already told her if the loser shows up, I'll cancel things as I don't want him near me. Our bridesmaid dresses are currently hanging up in my bedroom here, next to my mother's wedding dress, which we're delivering to her in the morning. I wish I could be there to see her face, but I'll be busy destroying the rest of her day. Well, tomorrow's the big day. I'll update once it's over. Guys, Mr. Redito here. This next update is absolutely insane. 
It's update number five, and you guessed it, it's wedding day. If you're enjoying this insane mother story about her little wedding, make sure you drop a comment down below and smash that like button. Here's update five, the wedding crasher. Well, it finally arrived, the wedding day from hell. My mom had decided on an afternoon wedding to allow her time to have a massage, beauty treatments, hair and makeup appointments. It worked better for us as we've had more time to set up. My dad came with us to take pictures of what we've arranged as there's no chance my mom or the loser would be there. So at the venue, the whole place was decorated in black and purple. Chairs covered in black velvet, the carpet, the bride would walk down was black, and the bridal arc was black. The chairs were wrapped in purple ribbon. It was the ultimate gothic funeral wedding. Everything my silver, sparkling, loving mother would hate. In my way, it was also a message to my mother that today was the funeral of my relationship with her. I'd be cutting all contact to her once this was over. I thought that was a nice touch on my part. The caterers had arrived early and began setting up in the room where the after-wedding party would be held, as my mother had picked a posh hotel as the venue. While it meant everything would be in one place, I think the hotel staff was extremely confused about what they were doing, but they've been paid and so they just went with it. I've told them that my mom and her husband, to be, wanted a dry wedding and so no alcohol should be available during the day. On the tables, we would be drinking some lovely cheap orange squash, and the bar in the party room was locked and bolted to prevent anyone trying to steal alcohol and upsetting the bride and groom. My mom likes to drink, so this will upset her and her friends, as they've spent half their lives drinking and socializing. I assume that my mom was expecting a priest when she walked down the aisle towards that loser, but that would have been way too normal. I'd booked her an alternative type of priest. I have to admit, I had a blast looking through all the different types of people who can run a wedding legally. I was torn between someone who was president over the wedding while it's dressed as a clown, and one who did natural weddings while it's stark naked. Guess which one I went with? All in all, the wedding venue was looking perfect. I mean, not perfect for my mom and the loser, but perfect for my revenge. My dad took so many photos and I've arranged a professional photographer for during the wedding. In the morning, he was busy at my mom's house taking pre-wedding photos and waiting for her dress to arrive. So, the dress. The feather and my revenge cap. She wanted a dress that was white satin, fitted to her body and a long train and veil. But the ones she picked out while it's we were together for the weekend were beautiful, but that did not fit any of my plans at all. I went back after she returned home and asked the shop owner what other dresses they had, as I was not planning on buying any of the ones my mom picked. This is where it got tricky, as it was obvious that I was planning to ruin the wedding. Let me just tell you, the owner did not approve. She was a lovely older lady, and after I've explained the situation... She agreed to help me. Apparently, she had grandchildren the same age of me and would be horrified if they were hurt like this. There was no wedding dress that matched my vision, so this wonderful lady helped me find another place that had one, and she agreed to fit my mom's measurements. Do you know how many insane dresses you can find at a shop for ballroom dancing? My mother will be walking down the aisle towards the loser wearing a bright yellow dress, lined with feathers at the hem and neckline. She'll look like a giant yellow ostrich, and it's going to be glorious. To finalize the look, I've gotten her orange shoes and a black veil. The dress is going to be delayed this morning, so by the time it arrives, it'll be too late to rush another bridal shop, and she'll either have to wear it or wear something she already owns. Well, I'm taking the dress, so my plan's to blindfold her as we put it on. She's going to be furious with me, but I don't care. And finally, I may have accidentally forgotten to post most of the invites. I did invite my dad and his family and all the men I could find who my mom's dated and dumped in her quest for another young man. Guys, I've invited her closest friends, so she's not suspicious. 
I'm in my element, and I can't wait for the wedding to start. I just hope that it does not get too bad for me and Shelly once she realizes what just happened. Well, wish me luck, because we're about to just go out and get my mom dressed for her wedding. Okay guys, here we go, the final update, update number 6, The Aftermath. Well guys, I'm not gonna break it down to you this simply, I'm just going to say it. The wedding kinda went like expected. It was awful. We arrived at my mom's with the dresses and she was in full makeup. Her hair looking beautiful and for a fraction of a second I felt bad about the dress. <sighs> Let me just tell you, we put our bridesmaid dresses on first so she could see that we had got beautiful dresses for herself. Not as a bright pink as she wanted, but still pretty. We tied a scarf around her eyes and put her dress on. All the while, she gushed about how many wonderful the day would be. We fixed the black veil into place and then took the blindfold off. Guys, the silence was deafening as she stared at herself in the mirror. Visibly shaking, she looked at me. Back to the mirror and back to me. Still not understanding. Finally, she said something. She squeaked out loud. What have you done? I replied that I've done what she deserved. She stole my boyfriend, rubbed it in my face, and asked me to arrange her damn wedding. She starts to cry. I coldly look at her and tell her she would ruin her makeup and look her age, so she might want to pack it up, as it's this dress or nothing. She almost refused to get in the car to the hotel, but I told her everyone's waiting for her glamorous entrance. I was surprised the loser had not contacted her about the hotel decorations, but he's not very bright and probably thought it was supposed to look like a funeral. My mom's day went from bad to worse. She hated the decorations. She saw that I've invited all her ex-conquest and my dad and none of the people she wanted, except for some of her friends. I won't skimp out on this detail, I just need you guys to know. The Clown Priest. Nearly finished her off. If you guessed the clown priest, good job. But she went through with it, and I guess she really wanted to be married. I left after the ceremony with my dad, so I did not see her reaction to the lack of alcohol. I was planning to cut contact with my mom after the wedding, as I cannot forgive her for what she did. But I didn't have to, as she sent me furious messages, saying I'm no longer her daughter. She insulted me all over social media, sharing pictures of the wedding, which was hilarious all in all. I'm pleased with the end results. Well, I know I probably went too far, but she hurt me. In the end, she saved me from a relationship with someone who was not the right person for me. And well, I look forward to the inevitable divorce. If not in a few months, then when the loser reaches the age of 30, and he's too old for her. I was going to ask, am I the a-hole for doing this? But you know what? I know I am. I don't care. Revenge. Oh, oh, revenge. You're such a sweet dessert. Okay, guys, let's walk through this one. I told you this story was absurd. Which part of this story was the craziest part for you? My opinion, I have to say it was the clown priest. Can you imagine? Your entire wedding day is falling apart, and you know it was sabotaged, and the very last step as you walk up that altar, and you're going to say, I do. You read your vows by a clown. Dressed up in a clown suit, I don't know how they held it together. Guys, let me know your exact thoughts. What did you like about this story? What did you hate? Which character was your favorite? Was this mother just absolutely a bridezilla? And what do you think about her going for her daughter's ex-boyfriend? Uh, ew. Guys, drop your thoughts down below. Let me know everything you're thinking. Check out the new Instagram. You can find it directly below in the description. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. I'll see you in the next one.